Everyone has measured or seen someone else measuring blood pressure. It's one of the most basic vital signs or health parameters. The evolution of blood pressure monitoring is pretty exciting, as this might be the one type of measurement the most prone to change based on recent trends. So I thought I would show you four steps of the evolution of blood pressure measurement and what the future of blood pressure measurement could look like. This is Dr. Bertel Meshko, and you're watching The Medical Futurist. The dawn of blood pressure monitoring takes us back to the 19th and the early 20th century. The device that changed our understanding of cardiac health was the sphygmomanometer, an instrument initially created by Samuel Siegfried Karl Ritter von Bosch in 1881. But it wasn't until the work of Dr. Scipione Rivarocci in 1896 that the concept took the form we are familiar with today. Dr. Rivarocci's version introduced an inflatable cuff which could be wrapped around a patient's arm. The cuff would constrict the blood flow, and as the pressure was slowly released, the point at which blood started flowing again gave an approximation of the systolic blood pressure. Then, in 1905, the process was refined by Dr. Nikolai Korotkov, a Russian physician. He discovered that by placing a stethoscope on the arm below the cuff, distinctive sounds could be heard as the pressure in the cuff was released. These Korotkov sounds represented the systolic and diastolic blood pressure values, the two numbers we associate with blood pressure readings today. In the second half of the 20th century, blood pressure management came home in the form of blood pressure monitors. Everyone has one at home. There are so many different types. In the 21st century, we started seeing digital blood pressure monitors, then smartphone apps helping patients to manage their measurements better, recording those and creating a BP diary they can share with the doctor. As you can see, I have tested a whole range of BP monitors in that sense. A third interesting and brave step in the evolution was the first smartwatch attempts. The concept of a smartwatch that could measure blood pressure didn't happen overnight. It was a complex endeavor that began in the early days of the wearable technology when smartwatches were more novelty than necessity. Throughout the early 21st century, the capabilities of smartwatches expanded rapidly from step counting to heart rate monitoring and even ECG. However, blood pressure measurement posed a particular challenge due to its dynamic and sensitive nature. The early attempts at this were ambitious but not without their limits. Initial devices struggled with accuracy, influenced by factors such as physical activity and body temperature, and calibration was also an issue. The devices often needed regular recalibration with a traditional blood pressure monitor to ensure accuracy. As a fourth step in its evolution, in recent years, the measurement of blood pressure has entered a new era with the advent of PPG technology, short for photoplethysmography. At its core, PPG is a simple and low-cost optical technique that detects blood volume changes in the microvascular bed of tissue. This is achieved by illuminating the skin and measuring the light that is either absorbed by or bounces off the blood vessels. In the context of blood pressure management, PPG technology is increasingly used in variable devices such as smartwatches or fitness bands. By analyzing the time it takes for the blood pulse to travel between two PPG sensors, these variables estimate the wearer's blood pressure. The true game changer here is convenience. With these variables, even skin patches that goes on the chest, blood pressure monitoring becomes a seamless part of everyday life, allowing for continuous real-time readings rather than the one-off measurements at the doctor's office. It is a great example of how medical technology continues to evolve and become more personal. From the traditional sphygmomanometer to the advanced PPG technology, the journey of blood pressure management reflects the remarkable progress in our quest for health and well-being. According to this evolution, to me it's clear that the real next step, if not the end story of the blood pressure measurement evolution, is going to be that we will have either skin patches, bracelets or rings, even a digital tattoo that can accurately measure blood pressure. And that's why I think this last step is the way forward making blood pressure monitoring easy, smooth and simple. No smartwatch, no big device on the upper arm, just comfortable devices, sensors, digital tattoos that are shown in evidence-based studies that they can deliver the same clinical quality as the old analog devices. 
If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.